Wednesday, so it's almost a full week later. I leave on Monday, so I have about five days left. We just checked into an Airbnb. Um, it's in the Chelsea area, which is very nice. And yeah, just a few more days left. I was staying at Dom's from Friday to yesterday slash today, but she just left today, so vlogging really wasn't a priority i was just enjoying myself enjoying her company um but we're going to be vlogging for the next few days i'm just about to settle in and emma's going to come soon and we'll probably walk around the area and tonight we have dinner with a friend from university so yeah the next few days are busy 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 by the time i post this i will well and done be back in jamaica so I'm honestly just having such a good time. I don't want to leave, but I know I, I know I'm excited to get back home. Like my mom sent me videos of Ozzy and my dogs and I was actually crying. So yeah, this trip has really been fantastic and lots of memories and it's been really nice to catch up with old friends. I've seen friends from university and I'm gonna see some from high school, so very fun. The one time City Map has ever done me dirty. Literally sent me onto a back road. But you know what? God is on my side. Um, I literally think it took me to the back entrance of this restaurant. So maybe I should just knock on the the kitchen door. But we are here thriving, surviving. It is not cold at all. Tell me this doesn't look fake though. Like this literally looks like a movie site, this little cul-de-sac. Cute. City girl. It is important to draw wisdom from many different places. If we take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. I feel like I'm back in the 90s and early 2000s. I don't know why. It's giving Burger King early 2000s. I'm sorry, am I like tripping right now? I don't understand. I don't know why I'm finding this so entertaining. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay, GSAT. What's the difference, Emma? Uh, volcanic action. Don't read it. No, I wasn't. Is someone else named Emma? Did you? Limestone. <laughs> no, this is uh, volcanic. No, Ignatius is volcanic. You don't know nothing, you would have failed. Okay, examples. Examples. Limestone. Limestone is the most basic one, and I'm sure that's sedimentary. Anyone who just quartz did. Somewhere. Any... <laughs> of course, quartz belongs somewhere. It's one of the three. <laughs> Sorry y'all, we did GSA a very long time ago. Yeah, we're aging ourselves. We didn't do PEP, I'm so sorry. Anyways, fail.
today is Thursday, but it's like Thursday night. Um, had a very busy day today. We went to three, three museums. Um, but to be fair, that's a perfect day for me. Um, we went to the Victoria and Albert Museum. We went to the Natural History Museum, which I love Natural History Museums. And then we went to the Saatchi Gallery, which is just down the road from us. And then tonight we went to a West End play. We went to Book of Mormon, which honestly wasn't on the top of my list, but I'm glad we went. I really enjoyed it. It was very funny. Um, it was kind of wild in, but I'm very happy we went because that was one of my goals. I wanted to make sure to go to a West End play on this trip so very glad i did it and i was able to coerce emma into coming with me so yeah just chilling in the apartment probably gonna watch some shows before i go to bed i just got back into ugly betty because they have so much on disney plus hair so i'm really just taking advantage but i used to love that show when it was just premiering so i'm really just feeling a bit nostalgic um but overall a good day <laughs> Today we were in the Notting Hill area, um, mainly around like Portobello Market and you know saw all the, the IG houses and whatnot but I did pick up a few things so I'll show you that quickly before I start busting airs. Um, I got two more tote bags and I already bought a tote bag on this trip. Anyways, I liked these because one they were cute but also I love the little concept behind them. So this one is just like a map of like Portobello and then this one is kind of like a fruit stand Portobello market. I just I think they're so cute and then I realized that um, the what's it called the, they were drawn by little kids. So yes that's that. I can't help myself when it comes to tote bags but then I also another thing I can't <laughs> Another thing I can't help myself with are like phone charms. I got this one, it has evil eyes, which, you know. Tonight, I'm going to dinner to a Lebanese restaurant with my cousins slash some trinnies, um, which will be very nice. I'm literally walking to dinner. Who am I? I'm a reformed lazy girl, but you know what? I was like, it's only 20 minutes. The bus said it was also 20 minutes. At that point, I'm walking the same speed as the bus. I'm gonna fucking walk. Anyways, the power of Cardi B a whole never gets cold had to be within me because I am not properly dressed for this weather. So, such is life, I guess. We're being basic. Hi, you too. <laughs> Oh my god, love a green moment. Okay, little fit check. We're wearing all black because we're in mourning. This is one of the blazers I got at Back on the Rock. To be fair, I didn't love all the buttons before, but I was kind of lazy just to take them off. And then the blazer I was wearing yesterday, I wonder if I got a video, that was the other blazer I got from Back on the Rock. And that one had shoulder pads, which I just cut out, and then it had like a kind of funky button, so I took that one off. But very functional and quite lovely. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing today, it's very up in the air, kind of like it that way though. Um, I had a brunch reserved at Covent Garden but then I just cancelled it because it's like 10.30, it's at 11.30 and I have shit to do so, what's it called, I'm losing my voice. We went bowling last night, I feel like I might have been screaming, I don't even know. I won though, 
I'll be boasting a one. Um, very unlike me, but yeah, so I need to go to a post office to mail something to a friend. And then I was thinking to just go to Buckingham Palace just for the fun of it. It's just like one or two stops away from the the Chubal Bibai. And then I think I'll then go to Covent Garden, maybe I'll go to a cafe, I don't know. And then around that time, that'll probably be in like two hours. I'm just gonna message Emma and see what she's up to, maybe head a bit east. Um, but yeah. Today was a perfect bang day. Um, I was honestly getting a bit emotional, but it was just a fantastic day to round off this trip. I spent majority of my day in Covent Garden actually, an hour of which was standing watching a full-blown orchestra who were raising donations for Ukraine. And they were just incredible. They're playing such good music, they're opera singers, and that's my kind of vibe. So. That was just a great day and I really felt very whole and honestly I don't want to leave. The rest of the day was really just spent at Emma's friend Mintra's house. We were just chilling, watching like shows. We started back Pretty Little Liars, watching 2000s music videos and then we just ordered in food. And it was just the perfect last day, I can't really complain. But it's like midnight now, I'm basically fully packed. Um, we have to wake up a bit early, early in my books. I think we have to leave here around like 8, our flight's at 12.45. Um, but yeah, what a trip. Strangle me and tie me up. <laughs>